if you do not have collective bargaining rights in the workplace, you have no legal input into what's going on. They can say they'll listen to you, but they don't have to. I've seen so many things changed because um, of the fact that we have a union presence, and we have a pretty strong union presence um, at Virtua. Um, I've seen a lot of things change um, because we have that, you know, that group voice, you know, the voice of all the nurses together. And I have seen people get their jobs back. I've seen people have disciplines removed. I've seen policies challenged and stopped. I've seen us be able to sit down at the table and have a voice in things that are coming. None work like HPAE, empowering every member to be the union member, the union leader in each facility. They have been on the front line. Some of my colleagues like Senator Weinberg have been there with them uh, going back years, but they were they were the people demonstrating and bringing it to the attention of the press and uh, putting patients first. You know, uh, there's no other way to to put it. What uh, and it just so happens that what is good for patients is you know is good for the people who are providing the care as well. HPAE is valuable because they help us, they helped us get a contract. They were there for us, they supported us from day one until three weeks later until today. You know, they were 100% behind us. Whatever we needed, they were there. In order to be in, at the table, equalize the playing field, you know, having your voice actually be heard, you have to have collective bargaining rights. It's available for people, but people have to vote yes for it. And so, and when they do, they're empowered. Without that factor, without collective bargaining rights, the people who make decisions are people who generally now are weighing the costs of things, not the needs of the patients.